got ourselves a trusted dusty spring scale who's arrowed to 10 newtons and a 500 gram mass, which is 4.9 newtons. Uh oh, we're moving. That means somebody else is here. So we're going to put it up here. You gotta, might find a hook on the elevator you get a hold of or some kind of string attached to the ceiling so that you can read what this reads. Then, come on and zoom down here for a second. We're on the third floor on this elevator. We're gonna push one and watch up there. So look back up there, watch, and it changed. You see that? It went up to about four, and then we're moving down between floors. Now that we're moving down between floors, what's it reading? But now we're gonna stop at the first floor. Watch what happens with the reading when we stop at the first floor. For a split second, it's going to read a lower number. And now watch. Oh, see, there's actually two stops in there. Now we're on the first floor. You notice between floors. So we did number one, number two, and number three. Now we push the third floor again. Close it. Now watch what happens right at that moment, right when we take off. Whoa! I lost a zip down there. <laughs> zip down there. Between floors, son of a gun, it's not reading 4.9 again. And then watch what happens when we hit the thir third floor. Whoa, we're lifting up. You feel it in your body? Wait, there's two different stops on this elevator. All right, let's get Stop that. Yeah, hopefully you did it for real and you actually went on an elevator. But all you got to do is fill in those seven scenarios. And I need for you to draw a free body diagram, either using the uh, drawing program right in Word or uh, in the paint program and then cut and paste in there. But I need seven free body diagrams. I need seven tensions because you really are reading what the spring scale reads. The only difference is the spring scale is going to read different things when you're accelerating up or accelerating down or you're between floors. So make clear notes of it. You will notice that you'll have two answers for the accelerations for scenario at the very bottom of an elevator usually and for the very top when it stops on the third floor or whatever floor you ended up on you'll see two different accelerations so make note of that really stopping twice so there's two different accelerations so give it a try on that one uh, small lab all you have to do is fill it all out get the right answers for acceleration answer that little question on the bottom simple little mini lab have fun with it